happy Pi Day, Quakes. Welcome to episode 18 of Quaker TV. We have a great show for you today. On today's show, we'll take a look at the much anticipated food challenge. And we will go on a midnight hunt for the elusive Wendigo. All that and more on this already going Oxygen episode of Quaker TV. And it all starts now. Back to Quaker TV. I'm Taylor. And I already had an in, uh, you'll never understand it. I, w I just want to say it. Here are your announcements for this Pi Day, March 14th. Seniors, check your Google Classroom under local scholarships for current scholarships that are now available. The counseling of office also has paper copies. The Columbia County Humane Society is accepting pennies for Paul's donations. This is coins and paper bills to donation to containers in the office. Please consider donating to such a wonderful cause. The PSAT test will be given on Tuesday, March 19th at 8 a.m. in the Learning Commons for those students who signed up to take it. To quote, to quote, to quote Jared Trainer, it's worse than the SATs. Our own Zach Gillis and Antonio Meade went on a hunt to uncover some conspiracies and myths in Salem. This is a segment they like to call Studio 203 at night. Salem, Ohio, a quiet town on the edge of the Appalachian region. Not much goes on here, or so you would believe. Today, me and my crew will explore the darker parts of this town and, and the, its urban legends. We will start with a well-known one for most of the people around the town, Crybaby Bridge. A legend, it, the legend goes that a woman did some not-so-kind things to herself and her daughter on that bridge. And rumor has it that you can still hear the cries of her kid to this day. Today, we will be seeing if this legend is true. The next and final one urban legend we will be going over, because Debar will kill me if I do a 10-minute QTV again, is an Al ancient Algonquin creature named the Wendigo. A Wendigo is a human that has been starved to the point of cannibalism. While many depictions show a tall figure with deer a deer skull and antlers protruding from its body, the Algonquins describe them as a tall, pale humanoid creature with a bald head and pointed teeth. This creature is dangerous, but the rest but rest assured, all of the, my crew knows the risks and is willing to take it. Welcome back to Studio 203. I'm Antonio. And I'm Zach. And welcome to Studio 203 at, at night. night. It's cold out, I'm freezing, it's windy out. I can't feel my fingers, but today we're hunting a windigo. Recording. So, you cannot be going out hunting like this without weapons of choice. I got many weapons right here. The blizzard is also with it. I'm taking the baseball bat just in case because, you know, you cannot be messing around around here. I'm totally. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Why wouldn't it be safe? So, Dude. as since we're going out in these woods, we cannot be just walking around. That's when the Wendigos get you. See, now we got this weapon, um, I mean, not weapon, a vehicle of choice. We've got the squad on it. I'm going to get on it. The cameraman's going to get on it. And it's going to sink to the ground, unfortunately. <laughs> Anyway. Anyways. Well, I got some footage of us. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a little look at the, you ready? the mud. <laughs> oh, she ain't missing. You want me to get a minute? Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, here's the gate you gotta go through. And just, okay. okay. So, unfortunately, we made it as far as we can. As you can see here, this mud has got us up to the rims. I'm telling you right now. But this is the gate of an abandoned house. I'm telling you what, there is nothing behind this field except when it goes let's go anyway how to get john open here 
Oh, we in the biz. <laughs> oh my. What do we got up in here? Oh my god, what was that? Guys, if you wait, where's Rio? Ah! Rio! What happened? I don't I don't know man. I just Rio just disappeared out of like thin air. I don't hey. I wasn't looking at him. I don't think any of us were looking at him. He just disappeared. Is that his headlamp? Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> That's his axe. Oh my no! Oh god! Where? Oh my oh, no, god! Oh my god! I don't... Rio! 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 <laughs> I, oh, do you even know where Rio went? Dude, I haven't seen Rio since back there in, in the woods. Yeah, we just heard him scream. Uh, we we gotta on. be we gotta be finding like the bridge, right? Yeah, 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 the bridge. But where, where is it? I, um, I think it's like over that way. You mean by like over that, by those woods? Yeah, it's, it's kind of far. That is kind of far. But do you think we could like, you think Rio might be there? I mean, he could be. I, I guess it's worth a look. Maybe it's worth a shot. Yeah. Sheesh, bro. How could we lose Rio? I don't know, man. It's like, we just looked away for like one second. I don't... I think the bridge should be close around here by now. Wait, where, I'm out of here. Oh. What? Wait, where are you going? Where? What? Bro, what, why did they just, they just ran away like that? What are we gonna do now? I, They're I, the guides. I don't know. They're, Oh my god, I, I guess it's just us now that I don't know what to do. Attention students grade 9 to 11, 2024-25, course request scheduling procedures will be reviewed on Wednesday, March 20th. Ninth graders will go second period, 10th through will be third, 11th through will be fourth. They will be held in the audito auditorium. Please plan to attend in order to get information or any questions, stop in the counseling office. The Salem Wispin KOA is hiring all positions for the summer. You must be 16 years or older if you're interested in this job opportunity send or drop off your resume to 33807 Winona Road, Salem, or email it to this address. Oh wait, it's not on screen, who cares? Flyers are also available in the guidance office. Ricky Short, Luke Davis, and Matt Beverly and Keegan Mayhew took on an extreme challenge of racing through Salem. They endured a rough on-foot journey every to every fast food place on Salem State Street. Let's take a look. Warning, please do not attempt to recreate anything in the following presentation. This was solely created for entertainment purposes and any recreation could lead to illness, injury, or worse. The following Quaker TV has been Debo approved. Now enjoy. Welcome to the Fast Food Relay Challenge. Let me explain the rules. There will be four runners working together to hit many of the fast food places on Main Street. The race will start with the first runner at Hot Dog Shop, and they will eat the designated meal chosen by the excellent committee for them. Once they are finished eating, they will embark onto the next location on foot and repeat the same process. Each runner will have to stop at three locations before handing off the baton camera to the next runner. This process will continue until the last runner reaches Dairy Queen and finishes their meal. Each runner, while on their part in the race, will have a GoPro to record their thoughts and feelings while on foot or while eating. They will be completely on their own, but the best medical and recording staff is available to them just in case something happens. Now with all that, let's get live coverage of the race.
Hello. Hello guys. Welcome to the fast food relay. We have us four people running. Raise your hands. Just four of us. The four of us are running. And your cameraman. The two cameramen. We are at Hot Dog Shop right now. We are about to get started. And uh, Luke currently has our baton to hand off. So we're gonna go ahead, get ready to get this started, and uh, yeah. Let's go. All right, let's go. Right. 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 The worst part is you're gonna be like cornering because like, I have a camera in my hand and somebody, like, somebody up there is like, what are you coming for? It's so awkward. We're just sitting here just, yeah. just watching it eat. Uh, it's, uh, people watch my things all the time, so. Let's do this. She get a crosswalk too. Meanwhile, we currently have like two people in the back and there's a sheriff right there. Luz, I think already inside. I think she's already inside. How do you get there before us? Oh, go slow, go. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. he's already in, he's already in, he's already in. Go, 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 go. go. He's already in there. Okay, we dodged cop number one, now we gotta deal with this, but. I wonder if there's over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, guys, he's going. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they all look over and you're just up the hill already. Like, we didn't get out the parking lot until you were probably like, at the car. Hey, oh, yeah. mod watch area, like, yeah. in between. Yeah. He's going into Arby's right now. <laughs> I am done with my section. Took me, I think, half an hour or so. Not bad. Uh, I'm not going to meet up with the boys. My car was left at Wendy's. So I'm going to meet with the boys uh, just until I can, until I have to leave. So thank you guys so much for watching my section. And on to Logan's. This angle, this angle is beautiful. I don't think it is. Definitely a messy food. I don't think at all. I think that was the one thing about mine was like, it was nice and kind of clean. Got it. So what's the burrito got on it? It is just a rice, chicken, cheese, and queso. Does their lettuce look like it was wet and probably wet? Juicy. Isaac was not here. I think it's good though. I think Isaac would have given us more. And we need yeah, he less. Would, he would have kind of screwed us over. Love him, but he knows what we're doing. He's gonna jaywalk again. He's gonna jaywalk. <laughs> nah, he's gonna go in the hospital and go over the bridge. <laughs> they gotta wait for me now. Now I'm the citizen here. Big Mac tastes absolutely awful. It tastes absolutely awful. That's gonna be hard to eat. Really good food, or it's gonna be really bad. Really good food, or it's gonna be really bad. 
really good food or it's gonna be really bad. Yes, that tastes god awful. Oh, well, it's not not my proudest moments eating all this. I'm gonna go home and pass out. I'm not gonna lie, that second bite made me gag. Hypothetically, I just eat one piece. I don't even like. Like, look at that. Hold on. Get this for the camera. This thing looks. They found it underneath the grill itself. It's like. Like, I, I don't know where the rest of my sandwich is either. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna get into that truck bed and I'm just gonna go to bed. Yeah, I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, move over, Richard. I'm gonna go make myself puke. That's gross. That sandwich was awful. Take this, because you don't need this. A few moments later. Alright, with that being said, I'm gonna hand it off to Keegan. That's all for the episode 18 of Quaker TV. I'm Taylor. And I am Xavier Brent. Have a great life, Quakes.